Hi everyone, and welcome to CES 2024. We'll begin with GeForce RTX and then cover robotics. Let's get started. Welcome to our world, where every click, every moment, and every detail matters. From creating new worlds, epic solo adventures and chaotic multiplayer showdowns we take you beyond the edge and by uniting fearless innovation with the power of AI you're charged with superpowers making every move momentous and bringing every concept to life RTX it's on NVIDIA has led PC gaming and content creation through three decades of technology breakthroughs and performance gains of 10 million X. There are now over 200 million gamers and creators worldwide who count on GeForce powered desktops and laptops. Today, NVIDIA is at the center of the latest technology transformation, generative AI. Gen AI presents an opportunity far larger than the internet. It will change how we interact with games. It will speed up creative workflows and will give everyone a co-pilot to make us all more productive. NVIDIA's journey in AI began in 2006. We launched the GeForce 8800 GTX. Designed to play the most challenging video games, it proved it could certainly run Crisis. The 8800 architecture also introduced CUDA cores, allowing researchers and developers everywhere to program the GPU for non-graphical applications. In 2012, a team of researchers from the University of Toronto made an incredible discovery. The GeForce GTX 580 GPU, best known for running games like Call of Duty, could be programmed with CUDA to run a convolutional neural network, an early innovation in deep learning. In fact, the GTX 580 crushed the record in the famed ImageNet image recognition contest and the era of GPU-accelerated deep learning had begun. NVIDIA launched RTX in 2018 and set in motion a giant leap in graphics, real-time ray tracing. 10 years in the making. It combined RT cores used to process rays with tensor cores used for AI-powered deep learning supersampling, or DLSS. The ray trace Star Wars Reflections experience which previously required four NVIDIA V100 data center GPUs at a price tag of $60,000, was now possible on a single GeForce RTX GPU. You think she heard us? We continued to invest in ray tracing and AI. From its launch in 2018, RTX AI performance has increased 10x to 1300 teraops or tops. Now with DLSS 3.5, Seven out of every eight pixels are generated by AI, accelerating full ray tracing by up to 4X with better image quality. Last year, AI made a dramatic leap to the mainstream. ChatGPT and Stable Diffusion inspired an unprecedented investment in training and inference of new generative AI models. With 100 million shipped, RTX GPUs provide a massive installed base for AI applications. In October, NVIDIA released our Tensor RT LLM library for Windows, accelerating large language models like Llama 2 and Mistral up to 5X on RTX PCs. With our new Chat with RTX Playground, enthusiasts can connect an RTX accelerated LLM to documents or YouTube videos, using Retrieval Augmented Generation, or RAG, and chat away. We are also introducing Tensor RT Acceleration for Stable Diffusion XL and SDXL Turbo in the popular Automatic 1111 app, providing up to 60% boost in performance. Looking forward, AI experiences will be delivered with a hybrid of cloud and PC computation. Hybrid AI will use NVIDIA GPUs in the cloud to run the largest language models while taking advantage of RTX tensor cores on your PC to run latency sensitive applications. We are already seeing hybrid AI in action. 
For video conferencing, Microsoft Teams offers Copilot, an assistant running in the cloud, while NVIDIA Broadcast runs locally for noise removal and virtual backgrounds. For content creation, Adobe Photoshop includes Firefly powered generative fill running in the cloud, while RTX GPUs power AI tools on the PC. And in gaming, a combination of AI in the cloud and PC will pull you deeper into the story. Last year, we introduced Ace, our platform for AI powered game characters. Let me turn it over to Seth for more detail. Thanks, Jeff. NVIDIA ACE is a technology platform that brings digital avatars to life with generative AI. ACE AI models are designed to run in the cloud or locally on the PC. Let's walk through an interaction with a game character. First, we start with the player's voice input. That prompt is then passed to our automatic speech recognition model, which translates speech to text. Then, we feed that text into a large language model to generate the character's response. After that, the text response is vocalized using a text-to-speech model, which is then passed to an animation model to create a realistic lip sync. Finally, the dynamic character is rendered into the game scene. Here at CES, we are announcing ACE production microservices for audio to face and automatic speech recognition. Available now, each model can be incorporated by our developers individually into their own pipelines. We are working with top digital avatar developers to bring NVIDIA ACE technology to gamers. Our latest collaboration is with Convey, a developer platform that enables easy integration of Gen AI powered game characters. Convey's platform features a set of tools and APIs to create character personas and enable dynamic conversations leveraging the new NVIDIA audio to face and Reva microservices. The latest features from Convey enable real time character to character interaction, scene perception, and actions. Let's take a look. In this demo, we're back in the ramen shop with Jin, except this time, we're joined by Nova, a cybersecurity expert in our cyberpunk flavored world. Let's us in as these two AI game characters have a generated conversation. Nova, you ever get that uncanny feeling we're like those AI constructs from the old sci fi flicks? But nah, we're too quirky for that. The cool thing is, the conversation's different every time. Quirky is one word for it, Jin. I think we're just too real to be anything but flesh and blood. You're not wrong, Jin. Sometimes I wonder if we're all just part of some elaborate cybernetic dream. If we were AIs, I'd be the one cracking jokes about the singularity over a bowl of ramen. Kai, long time no see. You've been hiding in the shadows, or have you just been trying to avoid me? Hey Nova, it's good to see you. I haven't been trying to avoid you, just been super busy. How are things? Things are fantastic just secured a juicy contract with Zenith and Sons. Hey, Jin, you hear that? Nova just landed a big contract. Let's break out the good stuff. Ah, uh, you got it, Kai. Nova's success calls for the top shelf celebration. Just don't expect this to become a habit. Ah, uh, thanks, Jin. So, Nova, have you been playing any games recently? I've been testing this cool game tech on a secret new GPU that's launching very soon. I can't talk about it here, but I can show you at the lab. Wow, that sounds super cool. Yeah, I'd love to see the game tech. Let's go back to your lab. Absolutely. Follow me and prepare to be blown away by what you're about to see. With Convey's latest framework, game characters can now interact with the scene by fetching objects and navigating the world, all based on your conversation. Over to you, Christina. Thank you, Seth. So many exciting new developments in gaming, and it doesn't end there. I'm thrilled to share that we now have over 500 RTX games and apps. This includes Alan Wake 2, which won three awards at this year's Game Awards, and we just keep growing. Horizon Forbidden West, the critically acclaimed sequel to Horizon Zero Dawn, will be coming to PC early this year with the Burning Shores expansion, accelerated by DLSS 3. RTX gamers will race to save the planet's crumbling biosphere, Let's take a look. Wow, well, it looks like the Rebels just got a lot more firepower.
Day is a social sandbox MMO inspired by the legends of the medieval era, where myths are real, ghosts exist, and magic is unquestioned. Developed by mainframe industries with veterans from CCP Games, Blizzard, and Remedy Entertainment, PAX Day will launch in early access on PC with AI-accelerated DLSS 3 in spring 2024. Here's a peek at never-before-seen gameplay. Last summer, Diablo 4 launched with DLSS 3 and immediately became Blizzard's fastest selling game of all time. I am pleased to announce that ray tracing is coming to Diablo 4 this March. Here's an exclusive look with RTX on. Our partnership with Activision doesn't end there. It also extends to the cloud with GeForce Now. In November, we welcomed the first Activision Blizzard game, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, day and date with its PC release. The lineup will only continue to grow with Diablo 4 and Overwatch 2 coming soon. We will continue to release top titles from around the globe like Honkai Star Rail and PAX Day. Today, I am also excited to announce day passes coming to our membership options starting in February. Priority and Ultimate Day Passes will give gamers a full day of gaming with fastest access to our servers. At the intersection of gaming and creating is NVIDIA's modding platform, RTX Remix. There are over 10 billion game mods downloaded each year. With Remix, modders can remaster their favorite classic games with full ray tracing and DLSS 3, and use generative AI tools to transform a classic game's low-resolution textures into 4K physically accurate materials. We are excited to announce that the RTX Remix app will be releasing an open beta on January 22nd. The community mod team, Orbifold Studios, is using RTX Remix to reimagine one of the greatest games of all time, Half-Life 2. Let's check out their latest trailer for a first look at Ravenholm with DLSS 3.5. Back to you, Jeff. Thanks, Christina. Generative AI empowers designers and marketers to create concept imagery, social media content, and more. Today, iStock by Getty Images is releasing a Gen AI service built on NVIDIA Picasso, our AI foundry for visual design. The iStock service allows anyone to create 4K imagery from text using an AI model that is trained on Getty Images' extensive catalog of licensed, commercially safe creative content. The generative AI service is available today at iStock.com with advanced editing features releasing via API. Let's take a look at iStock in action. 
Start generating visuals by describing your scene in a text prompt and select the generated image that closest matches your vision. Then add people and objects, indicating where in the image you want to place them and adding them with a simple description. iStock also allows you to modify specific elements in your image. For example, you can select a piece of clothing and iStock will generate new options that fit the space. Once you are done composing your scene, easily expand your image for different mediums. Go beyond your imagination and discover how easy it is to explore, design, and create with Generative AI by iStock. Twitch is one of the most popular platforms for content creators, with over 7 million streamers going live each month to 35 million daily viewers. These viewers are on all kinds of devices and internet services. Yet, many Twitch streamers are limited to broadcasting at a single resolution and quality level. As a result, they must broadcast at lower quality to reach more viewers. Twitch, OBS, and NVIDIA are announcing enhanced broadcasting. This new feature will allow streamers to transmit up to five concurrent streams to Twitch at different resolutions and quality, so each viewer can receive the optimal experience. Twitch Enhanced Broadcast will be supported on all RTX GPUs. Beta signups start today and will go live later this month. Twitch will also experiment with 4K and AV1 on GeForce RTX 40 series to deliver even better quality and higher resolution streaming. Today, we are announcing the Super Series. Let's take a look. This is the RTX 4080 Super. For gamers, it can power fully ray traced games at 4K. It is 1.4x faster than the RTX 3080 Ti without frame gen in the most graphically intensive games. With 836 AI tops, DLSS frame generation delivers an extra performance boost, making the 4080 Super twice as fast as a 3080 Ti. Creators can generate video with stable video diffusion one and a half times faster, and images with stable diffusion XL 1.7x faster. The RTX 4080 Super features more cores and faster memory, giving it a performance edge at a great new price of $999. The RTX 4080 Super will be available January 31st. Next up is the RTX 4070 Ti Super. We've added more cores and increased the frame buffer to 16 gigabytes and the memory bus to 256 bits. It's the perfect GPU to max out your high refresh 1440p panels and even game at 4K. Creators will love it for video editing and rendering large 3D scenes. It's 1.6x faster than a 3070 Ti and two and a half times faster with DLSS 3. It will be available on January 24 for $799. We're also introducing the RTX 4070 Super. We've added 20% more cores, making it faster than the RTX 3090 at a fraction of the power. And with DLSS 3, it's one and a half times faster. It will be available for $599 starting January 17th. RTX is the fastest growing laptop platform, having grown five times in just the last four years. 
Over 50 million devices are enjoyed by gamers and creators across the globe. Today, we are announcing a new wave of RTX laptops launching from every major OEM. From 14 inch as slim as 16 millimeters to the most powerful 18 inch, there is a laptop for every gamer and creator. And thanks to powerful RT and Tensor Cores, every RTX laptop is AI ready for the best gaming and AI experiences. With an installed base of 100 million GPUs and 500 RTX games and apps, GeForce RTX is the world's largest platform for gamers, creators, and now generative AI. For AI enthusiasts and developers, we are accelerating large language models for RTX PCs and workstations. And combined with NVIDIA GPUs in the cloud, hybrid AI will take experiences further, even bringing life to game characters. I guess I'm kind of a big deal now. To power these experiences, we announced our new Super GeForce Desktop GPUs, delivering more performance and Gen AI power to gamers and creators. We also announced a new wave of AI-ready RTX laptops from every major OEM, delivering the ultimate in mobile performance. A new era of PC computing is here, and it will transform everything we do. NVIDIA and our partners are excited for what comes next. And now we'll hear from Deepu Tala about a new era for robotics. Thanks, Jeff. I would like to share how the infusion of generative AI into robotics is speeding up the ability to bring robots from proof of concept to real-world deployment. For the past few years, autonomous robots powered by artificial intelligence are being increasingly utilized for improving efficiency, decreasing costs, and tackling labor shortages. Logistics, warehouses, and manufacturing are the first use cases that had the biggest need. And today, we can see hundreds of thousands of deployed robots, with each of them getting smarter as time goes on due to AI updates. Large-scale fulfillment centers and manufacturing plants that are millions of square feet in area continue to add more smart robots. The next wave of industries for AI-powered smart robots include agriculture, construction, healthcare, and retail. In the last 12 months, generative AI has revolutionized text and natural language processing. The introduction of ChatGPT has been noted as the iPhone moment of AI. Very soon, we are at the tipping point of that same technology coming to computer vision and robotics. Generative AI models achieve higher accuracy while generalizing rather well, and applications are built using natural language prompts or text. Given these attributes, generative AI is well suited for robotics. Now, Let's see how NVIDIA is bringing the massive potential of generative AI to robotics. Our platform for building AI-powered robots is called NVIDIA Isaac. To deploy AI, there are two computers necessary. The AI factory is where the simulation and training of the AI model happens. It is essentially the creation of the AI model. This process can go on throughout the operating life of the robot. The AI model can be continuously improved so that it gets better and better, more accurate, more performant, and more generalizable. Some applications might demand the AI model to be fine-tuned round the clock 365 days a year. For example, if you're operating a fleet of autonomous mobile robots or AMRs that are marching towards the goal of full autonomy. On the other end of the spectrum, the AI model only needs to be updated occasionally. And as a result, retraining happens periodically. For example, a robotic vacuum cleaner that needs to adapt to your home floor plan. The AI factory leverages NVIDIA's data center compute infrastructure, NVIDIA AI, and NVIDIA Omniverse platforms. Now, let's switch to the second computer, which is the runtime of the robot. The computer can be an on-premise server, for example, performing defect inspection for a high-speed semiconductor manufacturing line. Or the computer can be an autonomous machine processor, such as an NVIDIA Jetson, 
powering an AMR or industrial arm with multiple sensors such as 4 to 8 cameras, multiple 2D LiDARs, 3D LiDAR, and IMU. Over the past year, we have seen how generative AI-powered chatbots and co-pilots can improve our productivity. Applying generative AI to robotics will be transformative to accelerating the development and deployment of smarter robots. If we think back to our two-computer model, let's see how generative AI when combined with NVIDIA Omniverse running in the AI factory, enhances simulation. We are seeing that LLMs can eliminate bottlenecks and turn typical users into technical artists. Whether it's creating an individual robotic work cell or a full-scale manufacturing facility, simulation teams make a significant investment to build the right 3D digital twin to test and train their virtual robots. Leveraging the ability to reason and generate code with an LLM like ChatGPT, the desired scene can be created from a text prompt in minutes. Under the hood, all of the available assets can be utilized and placed in the scene in meaningful ways. Robots often operate in dynamic environments, so even after the scene is created, new 3D assets will need to be generated. Starting with NVIDIA's Picasso, a text to 3D asset generative AI model, new realistic assets can be generated from a text prompt and placed in the scene. When testing or training a robot, diversity in environments is essential to ensure the robot can generalize to the real world. Starting with text prompts, generative AI can add rain, water, rust, and more to existing environments and create thousands of physically accurate scenarios. Tasks that typically take a technical artist days can be completed in minutes. It doesn't end there. Generative AI can act as your co-pilot when it comes to writing scripts. Simply enter the prompt and generate the necessary code to run robot simulations or generate synthetic data that is auto-labeled, saving enormous amounts of expense and time. All of this capability is available or coming soon with NVIDIA Omniverse and Isaac Sim. Make sure you leverage it if you're not already doing so. We showed you how generative AI is supercharging robot simulation and synthetic data generation in the AI factory. Now let's see how generative AI can turbocharge the runtime capabilities of robots. LLMs and LVMs are making it possible for humans to interact with robots using natural language. A generative AI model trained with video text, and other modalities is able to generalize well and achieve higher accuracy than multiple purpose-built CNN-based computer vision models. Let's see how some of our partners are driving the generative AI revolution for their robotic operations. Welcome to Boston Dynamics. I am Spot, and I will be your guide for today. Hey Spot, how do you like your job? Ah, Mr. Matt, my employment as a tour guide provides great satisfaction. Now behold the rock pile. Thank you for tuning in and enjoy CES 2024.